Um, my name is Rob Roy Chalmers, and I am a professional artist. Um, and I honestly cannot remember how I became involved with Mind Unwind. We had a lot of dealings, though. I mean, I was in a uh, at least three different. I had at least three different solo shows there, and then I was in a couple of group shows there. And I remember doing drawing sessions there, open drawing. You had a lounge upstairs for a while, and I used to come to that lounge. Um, yeah, it was um, it was a great experience. One of the things that I really liked about it was that it wasn't just it wasn't just a gallery. It was an attempt to bring artists together in a way that felt a little bit like maybe the 50s or early 60s in New York with, you know, Andy Warhol. I'm not going to I'm not going to compare you to Andy Warhol, <laughs> but I I think that I think that in some levels you were doing something similar to what Warhol was doing with his studio in the 60s. That's, so that's yeah. awesome. I yeah. I mean one of the biggest um goals that I had with Mind Unwind was to bring people together to spark your creative imagination because I mean as an artist you know you can you can get sparked in so many different ways but connecting with others on that level where you're where it's like a safe place and and a place where people feel inspired that was one thing i loved walking in and just hearing the conversations people would be having it yeah. it many times took directions i did not ever expect even though like the vision might have been there and partially right. was mine but but the platform itself was just uh evolving and growing and and it went off on all different tangents. Well, another thing that I really liked about it was that it, um, while it was a gallery, it was in a space that could very easily be seen as a living space. Mm -hmm. So people were very, it, it, it made it very simple for them to visualize the artwork that was there in their homes because it was essentially a home. Mm -hmm. um, and I think that's something that a lot of galleries miss it because they're so um, they're so sterile mm -hmm. that it becomes hard to envision the work that you see on the wall in the place where you live. You know, and we did live upstairs and yeah. um, and we would we invited people upstairs a lot. I mean, your your pieces, <laughs> two of your pieces were hanging in our living space, but yeah. on display because from the street, you could see them. If yes. you were across the street and looked up at our gallery, you were essentially looking into what are our living room windows, but it looked right. straight to your pieces for, I think for a few years, your pieces were up there. Yeah, they were. And then they, and then they were um, purchased by someone who saw them at your, in your house. Yep. Um, and that's an amazing thing. You essentially had my work on display in your home, um, and it wasn't yours. It was just there, and people saw it, and it was it was it was awesome. <laughs> and I I actually love doing that um, because one, it gets the work out of my out of my studio, yep. so I have. Um, I have more room to make more things, but also people get to enjoy it. I mean, if it's just hanging in my studio collecting dust, what's the point? I remember you telling me that uh, they had been in a closet and I was like, it almost like hurt me. I was like, you can't have your stuff in a closet. Like yeah. that's like the opposite of what an artist wants. So, you know, yeah. even though it wasn't like a formal showing of them, it was right. still at least not right. in a closet. Yeah. Do you have a favorite synchronicity story that happened at Mind Unwind? Yeah, um, the fact that Mind Unwind continues to creep back into my life, right? So unlike every, uh, pretty much every other gallery that I've ever been involved with um, or 
or arts organization or anything like that, um, your space is always there. People go, oh, I've seen that work. Where did I see that work? Oh, wait, what was that space that was up in the North Admiral District? And I can't remember the name. I'm like, oh, mind on, oh yeah, I got that place. I remember seeing your work there. And this is like 10 years ago. Right, And yeah. people remember. And, I, you know, that's that's an awesome thing. Always a wonderful space to be in as an artist when, when someone comes up to you 10 years after a show or something and says, I remember your work. I remember when we were passing the lease off to Jimmy and Johnny, who are brothers that took over our lease and they were friends of ours. But I remember when, when we passed that lease off and I told them, I said, you know, like you're taking this space over, but Mind Unwind is is still living on, but it's it exists in our minds. It's like, it's, it's um, almost quantum. It, it's... Yeah less about a platform and more about a feeling and a, um, and a community, like a network. Yes, exactly. You and Jeffro were two of the artists that really did um, installation specific shows. And that was something that I didn't have any experience with um, before Mind Unwind. And I loved it when you guys would come to me and be like, I want to do this. And I didn't know exactly what you were talking about. It was so creative that, but at the same time, I felt really confident knowing that you had it in your mind, what you wanted to do. And then you would come and do your installation. I think one of your installations took like three days one time. And I remember that one very specifically because I remember the first time I walked into the space, I was like, oh my God, this is perfect. I know exactly what I want to do here. It was really fun doing that installation. And I remember a lot of the conversations that I had with people um, the night of the opening and then uh, successive times when I was there when I was talking to people about the work. And and I actually got um, I got two custom installs because of that show so, so cool. um, yeah I, I do remember that one sporozo and swarm that you and jason installed and i thought someone might die <laughs> like yeah. it was scary yeah, yeah, exactly oh yeah that the really big piece i know yeah i was um i remember being on the ladder t t trying to get that one in place and it when it finally connected with the with the lag bolts and everything, I was like, oh, thank goodness. I had my hands like, like this, like as yeah. if my hands are going to actually help you guys. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Yeah. No, I remember. I remember. Yeah, it was, but you know, it's funny um, because when you're, when you're installing it, it doesn't, it doesn't feel as scary as when you're watching someone else install it. How did Mind and wind, if it did at all affect your creativity or make you think differently? I think it affected my creativity just because of the space itself and the energy that you bring to the space. I garner my creativity from lots of different places. So I don't want to say that there was anything specific that made me do anything different than I normally would, but my reactions to the space itself are really interesting because of your energy and and just the space itself, like the way it was laid out, the way the light shone in through the windows, all those things. Kind of asking everyone the same questions. And then my idea is that everyone will just give their answers and the, the answers all create a whole, you know, like each right. little story. And I'm putting these interviews as behind the scenes, um, kind of members only content. So if people wanted right. to, uh, dive more into um, any particular artist that they heard or Patricia's teachings or anything else that's mentioned. I want to have more content for people to be able to dive deeper. So if there's right. anything else you want to mention about your work or anything else um, that will go into a more expanded version. I just want more eyes on on my work. Um, mm -hmm. I, you know, I think that it's really hard to get people to look at artwork. And there are less and less galleries all the time. There are less and less places where you can show your work and people actually come there. Mm -hmm. So um, it, 
you know, at, at my core, I believe that art is not art until people are looking at it. Um, so I'm, you know, I want people to see my work, but at the same time, I don't want to just show it on social media because I think that's a wasteland. Um, and I, 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 it, it has never done anything for me. Like I've never oh. sold anything via social media to anyone who I didn't already know. So for me, social media just becomes like, uh, you know, not anything that I'm, I'm interested in showing my work on. So mm -hmm. I want to get people to see my work in person and you've seen my work. It's like, it doesn't translate that well. It, and, you know, it's true. I, I mean, it, the, the pieces are huge. And when you're looking at them on your phone and they're this big, and in reality, they're six feet by 10 feet or whatever, like, you're not going to understand what that piece is about. Right. Um, so it's really important for me that people see my work in person. Um, and I, you know, so that would be my biggest message is please set up studio visits. Come to my space and I'll show awesome. you work. That's um, awesome. And it would also encourage me to clean the space because it's <laughs> a freaking disaster. <laughs> when we do schedule appointments with people, we we uh, we definitely clean. We throw a bunch of shit in the closet and uh, yep. and then um, and we dump it all back out when they leave. So yeah. Well, I think, you know, one of the things I do want to say about your artwork is that the pieces are really big, like you said, but the detail is really small. So your pieces have like this, um, I don't even want to say duality. It, they just have, they have like an overall feel. And then when you look at it, you know, as close as you want, and as you step closer and closer, you see more and more detail. It's it's not like just one big abstract image. It's like you have a whole lot of millions and millions of images together to make that one big image. And so, yeah. to, for me, that's how that's how I um, enjoy your artwork so much. Is is I do like seeing it from far away, but I also like seeing it from up close. I really appreciate that because I do make a very concerted effort to make the pieces do that awesome well enjoy the rest of your day and sure. um and i'll be in touch over email and stuff and and okay. then once i get this episode out uh it'll become the second episode to the first one that i did um and that will be entered in film festivals i'm hoping um to be a docu-series you have to have three episodes so okay. I'm trying to get this, I have the first one done, trying to get this one. And then my next one is all about plant medicines. So, okay. um, so I'm like, I'm just trying to get it all done and, you know. Awesome. Focus. Sounds good. Awesome. Okay. All right. See you, Rob Roy. All right. Bye.